Bonjour, this is Aaron from Aaron Gone Traveling. So today I'm gonna tell you about my daily life in Melbourne stage 4 lockdown. I know it's depressing, but today I'm gonna tell you about how I motivate myself every single day. Oh my god, it sounds even more depressing. First of all, it's hard. Lockdown can take a toll on everyone's mental health and physical health, whether you like it or not. People lose motivation to do things. And that's okay, because you're not the only one that's losing motivation. Everyone is experiencing it. At the beginning of this year, I set up a Google Sheet which helped me immensely in terms of determining, in terms of guiding me what to do every day. It's basically a reward chart. If I read, I get points. If I work out, I get points. If I clean the house, if I cook, if I do something productive, really, I'll get points. Points, and those points are used to redeem something that's good for me. For example, flight tickets, which I can't buy. A pair of shoes, some bottle of alcohol, or some clothes, or, you know, I'm materialistic at times. I'll show you an example. Okay, so as you can see, I titled this Google Sheet as 2020 Life Goals, different months of the year. And this month, I mean, last month was August. And these are the days of the month. And these are the things that I normally do. If I spend more than 15 minutes, I get one point. If I spend more than 30 minutes on the activity, then I get three points. One hour, six points, two hours, nine points, and vice versa. As you can see, I've got bad days where I don't want to do anything. I think that was because I was on night shifts and I just didn't have any motivation to do anything. And I've got better days where I was more motivated and I was like cooking, working out, doing Spanish, doing YouTube, doing some Pinterest, doing some reading. If I have more than half of the month being green, then I get something. I determine what that something might be. One, two, three, four green days, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen out of thirty-one days, it's more than half. So I should get something. I haven't thought of anything yet. If you guys have an idea of what I should get, please leave it down in the comment. So every day I wake up anywhere between 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I listen to French or Spanish podcasts. I quickly jot down the new phrases that I learned. And then I attend to my personal hygiene with some reggaeton going on in the background when I'm showering normally and I dance. I have breakfast after that, which is normally milk and wheat bigs. I know that's boring, but also no one ain't got time for some fancier breakfast. And then I go to work. Now that my life has got more regularity as compared to when I was doing emergency medicine, I just have to turn up to work at 8.30 every morning, and then I leave at 5 p.m. every day. And I get a half day off on Wednesday as well. How good is that? So working occupies a big part of my day, so I don't have to worry about what to do to keep myself productive, you know, on the go, on the go, on the go. Then when it's 5 p.m. when I'm driving back home, I start to think of what I want to do today. So normally I start to plan for my workout because I go back home and I work out straight away. I used to work out for 10-20 minutes, but now I've increased it up to 45 minutes to an hour because I have nothing else to do anyways. And in terms of the workout I do, I let YouTube inspire me. After working out, I have dinner. I normally bulk cook during the weekends, specifically on Sunday, so that I don't have to worry about my food during the week where I have less time to cook. So for example, the dinner last night, I had Thai green curry chicken with the homemade green curry paste that I made. Kudos to Hot Thai Kitchen. Her recipe is on fire, like literally as well. I had black pepper beef stir fry, red curry snake beans, mixed veggie stir fry, and I had dim sum pai guat it's because I love dim sum and I miss dim sum a lot. So I just, I just, I just had to recreate it. When I'm having dinner, I watch an episode of whatever TV series that I'm following currently and I'm currently watching Kim's Convenience on Netflix. Watching Kim's Convenience makes me want to go to Toronto so bad! Since each episode is only like 20 minutes long, I don't feel too bad about watching a lot of TV. I only watch one episode and after 20 minutes, I'm good. And I don't binge watch because if I do, I can spend the whole day watching the full damn drama. After 20 minutes, I finish up, I wash up, and then I start working on other things like my blog, my YouTube video. So my website normally takes a bit longer to manage and it can take up to like one day to produce a quality post. And 
also to go through all the photos that I have to put into my blog post. So shameless plug, I have a website called AaronGonTravel.com. So AaronGonTravel, here it is. Please check it out. My YouTube videos, since I said that I will be uploading every Thursday, it sort of like pushed me to come out with a new content every Thursday. And I think it's good because it motivates me. If not, I don't think I'm producing YouTube video after the first five videos. Therefore, I strive to have it produced and have it edited every Wednesday night. And then on Thursday, I can just um, upload it on YouTube and then everyone can watch my video. So after doing all of those very productive things, my motivation is probably down the drain already. And it's probably around sleeping time anyways. I watched maybe an episode of a series in a foreign language on Netflix using this amazing plugin called Language Learning with Netflix. So I can feel guilt free when I'm doing some Netflix binging. And if I don't have that much time because I normally have to sleep by 11.30 to get enough sleep so that I won't be grumpy the next day. I watch a few YouTube videos in a foreign language or I watch my favorite YouTubers and, and call it a night. That's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. I post a new video every Thursday that's mainly on food, traveling, and languages. If you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.